Hey guys, how are you guys today? I hope you guys are doing amazing. I apologize if you hear yelling in the background. It's the kids outside playing. And it's like 30 degrees here in Ottawa. It's too damn hot for me to be trying to close my windows. And I haven't put any of my air my ACs in yet. So just gonna have to bear with me with the yelling of the kids outside. Um, it was 80s work, 80s uh, theme at work today. Hence the uh, makeup and the side ponytail and the uh, funky earrings. Um, we do a fundraiser for CHEO, which is the Children's Hospital here in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada, where I live. Um, it's a big um, fundraiser that we do where I work. So uh, we try to do like a spirit week the last couple of weeks um, of the fundraiser. And today was 80s theme. So this is my uh, 80s look. So... Um, Today, sorry guys, <clears throat> we have an unboxing. This is a box for the month of April. I do realize we are um, nearing the ending of May, but with COVID and the new lockdowns um, and restrictions um, <clears throat> here in Canada anyways and Ontario, Things have kind of been coming later. Um, I am still waiting for my witch casket for the month of April. Um, it hasn't come today, so I will be shooting them an email, just kind of giving them a heads up that I haven't received it yet. Um, I don't usually get it this late, um, but I mean, who knows right now, you know, with everything that's kind of going on in the world. I'm just gonna see, I think I'm gonna adjust this light a little. There we go, this one's a little bit better. Um, <clears throat> and so I'm still waiting for that box. As soon as that one comes, obviously I will do the unboxing and show you guys. Um, this is my May uh, box for um, Intentional Witch. Super excited. So this is the first series, yes Lucius? That's okay. Can you hand me my drink there anyways? Sorry, that would be my son. Yes, you may have a freezy. Thank you. Sorry, guys. Okay, love you, Papa. So this is Intentional Witch. Um, so this is actually my second box from them. This is the first series for her um, chakra box. The lady that curates these box is named uh, Gala. She is an amazing lady, went above and beyond to try and find a cheaper way of um, being able to ship these boxes to Canada for us Canadian witches. And I am forever grateful for her doing that. Um, so every other month, she will be doing the Chakra um, series. So this is the first one of the series, which is the root chakra. And then May, this month is the regular um, intentional witch box, which I believe I had chosen protection. And then June will be the next um, chakra box, uh, which I think is the chakra root. Don't quote me on it, because I can't remember. <clears throat> So this is how it comes. So if you are in the broom closet, definitely no problem. Nobody will know anything. I will say one thing, which I'm pretty sure I mentioned it in my previous video of hers um, for this box. Oh, that's lovely. One of my children took my scissors. I fell off. I'm telling you. Um, so just bear with me, guys. I'm going to have to tear it open because apparently one of my children took my scissors from my altar here. Um, in my previous video, my first video of her box for this one, which was in March, 
um, which was the intuition box. Amazing box. Totally loved it. Um, one of the things that really attracted me to her box was the box itself. Let's just take this box in. So witchy. This box is so witchy. I love it. The candles here. The candles. Like, just look at this beautiful box. So this is how it comes. And then of course, like, look at the inside. Just gorgeous. Always beautifully packaged. I love it. And she always, um, and I love this. It's the root chakra box and look, it's the brown, right? For the root chakra. Um, she always takes the time and she always does a personal note, which I love. So let's see. Thank you. All right. Hi, Tammy. Thank you so much for being such an important and wonderful part of our journey to manifesting our intentions. I hope you enjoy your root chakra box and find it helpful. I've included a blue lace agate polished on one side as a special thank you. Bright blessings. Oh, I love it. And she always gives you a gift. She always puts a free gift in here. Um, I know previous boxes I've seen, there was, I think, a bracelet one time. And so I love blue lace agate. And blue lace agate is actually um, getting super hard um, to get your hands on. Look at this. Just beautiful. Thank you, Gayla. Alrighty open this I am so excited for this box I've seen other boxes where they do the root shot like sorry they do the chakra roots but it's all of them in one box so you get like little timbits of information on each root each um, chakra root but this one is just specifically the root chakra and then the next one will be specifically whatever chakra that one is I just it's amazing so I'm super excited love the idea that she, how she was doing this and I love her the paper that she does here so I will read these after just because I do know that one of those pages will have um, the items in here I like to be surprised so Alrighty, so this is what the box looks like, guys. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna take these noodles out. Oops. I mess them here. I reuse these noodles. Um, I give them to my daughter who has her own little Etsy business. So if she has to ship anything out, um, I always give her these noodles. I'll uh, fight to get the rest of those ones out. Oh my God, I don't know what to take. There's so much stuff in here. Let's do this. So we have a beautiful little green sachet here with a little, a little something kind of wrapped up in here like a little present look at this it's it's the little details like the little details oh my god it just it really makes a difference it makes things pleasant and just you know exciting like a kid at christmas you know Oh, this is nice. This is, I've seen these before. I have a friend of mine that makes uh, something similar. This is resine and it's got stuff in there. It looks like maybe crystals in there. But it's like a little pyramid. It's beautiful. Okay, I'm just going to put this back in here so we don't lose it.
looks like we have some incense sandalwood kos kos k-h-u-s i apologize if i'm mispronouncing it patchouli and clove root energy center so this is a root chakra inch incense Ooh. Oh. Mm. that smells amazing sorry if you hear panting but my dog is uh lying on my bed here panting away is you hot reggae is you hot my mamas this i love this root chakra grounding root or malantra chakra is related to instinct survival and also to basic human poten potentiality physically physically Maljara, I apologize again if I'm not saying it right. It's been a very long day. Governs sexuality, mental, mentally. It governs stability, emotionally. It governs sensuality, emotionally. It governs sensuality and spirituality. It gover governs a sense of security and grounding. Maldara Chakra brings us health, prosperity, security, and dynamic presence. Oriented it to self-preserve. So this is just a beautiful root chakra candle. Good size too. It looks like we got ourselves a little oil and I love that she does this. She puts the little charms here, which I think is amazing. I'm getting a, gonna be having a collection of them. I have a goddess one from my previous one. And now I have a little pentacle for this one. And like, just look at that bow. She just ties it so beautifully. It's the little details, these little details they just, they really, really make the difference. You know, like the box isn't thrown together, which my very, very first kind of witchy subscription box I got was literally thrown together. I was so disappointed with it. And so far, the ones that I get right now, they're just, everything is so neat and tidy. Hers is so neat and tidy. I don't know how she fits everything in this box, but she does. And there's a lot of stuff in her boxes. And I love her oils. Nicely bubbled wrap so it doesn't leak, which I love. Root Chakra Essential Oil. It looks like carnelian in there maybe and she always puts a ton of crystals in them which i love like look at those crystals and her oils smell amazing my daughters actually love the oils oh mm. oh my god this is so calming Mm -hmm. oh, oh my god this is amazing sorry one more smell mm -hmm. I'm like just instantly calm so let's see what's in the, the oil and I love it because she does these little personal cards here so you can put them in your little book of shadows if you wanted to Root Chakra Essential Oil Blend. Patchouli. 
heals feelings of separation and anxiety, sandalwood. During meditation can help awaken life force energy. Ylang Ylang calms agitation and fear and increases the sense of security. Uh, vetiver grounds and soothes an overactive root chakra due to trauma or shock. So that's everything that's in there. And when we read it at the end, it'll tell me what um, the crystals are that are in there. I just want to tie this so I don't lose my little pendulum there. There we go. It looks like we have three more items here. What's this? We have another bubble wrap here, guys. Ooh. root chakra oh it looks like we got a tea yay i love tea i should have brought my kettle up so we got a root chakra tea here our root chakra organic dandelion root ginger elder elderflower and sage oh let's give this a sniff i love the little vial that it's in oh there we go oh i can smell the ginger mm, yummy yummy I love this because I can actually reuse this jar for a spell. Alrighty, we're down to the last two items, guys. What is this? Looks like we have a little tube here. With some papers inside. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, and I'm like going to be getting all of the chakra roots. So this is going to be amazing because I can actually just get a binder and have it as my book of shadows for all the root chakras, which is amazing. And these sheets are beautiful. So it's basically giving you the steps here of um, working with your root chakra. Oh. It's got like a pose here, the butterfly pose. Some um, chakra aromatherapy for your root chakra. the only thing for me this pose here which they call the butterfly pose um, my hip goes numb I have two protrusions between two of my discs so I have a really hard time with um, that position so a lot of the times when I do my meditation I actually lie down to do my meditations for that reason, which is why you'll see me kind of fidgeting here, just because my bedroom is kind of the only space that I have um, to do my unboxing videos. As I said in my previous videos, there's seven of us in my house, um, plus two dogs. So this is kind of the only place where it's a little more private. There's not a lot of back noise. Um, so I'm kind of sitting on the edge of my bed doing this. Um, at some point, I do kind of want to try and rearrange my room and see if I can maybe create some more space. What else do we have here? Just going through the pages. Um, so we have chakra crystals and gemstones. So it gives you a list of crystals and gemstones for your root chakra. This is what I like because this box is specifically for your root chakra. And then the box in June will be specifically for that next root um, chakra root. 
And then behind here, um, chakra massage. Um, so it gives you instructions basically of where to massage if you were um, helping somebody else um, with their root chakra. So it gives you guys, you know, instructions on where to massage to kind of work that root chakra. Which I have done some chakra work on my girls. Um, both of my daughters practice uh, witchcraft with me, the three, all three of us were all witches um, in my house. So, and my son is in the process of learning as well. So, and this one is um, just more information basically about the root chakra itself, like planetary and stuff like that. Um, this is like the body part for your root chakra, like the body parts that it, it helps, that it works basically. I love these. So I'm definitely gonna have to get a binder with the um, clear, which I was already looking at anyways, um, with the clear um, protector sheets in it because these are double-sided. So I love this. Thank you so much, Gayla. Put it back in here for safekeeping. Now we're down to our last item, guys. And I love this little Asian box. Like, look at this. I'm gonna have to hide this from my husband because um, he loves this stuff. Um, he's actually reading up on Buddhism right now it's something that he's very connected with um it's the buddhism as well as the uh, shamanism and for like the native side so um organic pyramid so that's what this was here i just found the card here Organic pyramids are energy generators which amplify intention energy and neural neutralize disruptive environmental energies this ne neutralization brings forth kindness happiness and renewed hope organ organite works continuously to clear its surrounding surroundings of negativity and harmful environmental and ele elements i apologize guys when infused with the colors of the chakras it focuses on the intent of it focuses on the area of intent oh i don't know why that was so difficult for me Whew. all right i'll just leave that back in there all right guys I was just looking at one of these. Oh my God, Gayla. I was actually looking at one of these because I really wanted to get one. The sounds that these make. amazing i find them very relaxing um there's a few videos on like tiktok and um i think instagram's had them before and you'll see them and they'll have these and they're obviously because they've been you know working with these um singing bowls for a long time so they know how to you know um get them singing so to speak and um i find i find the sound that comes from them extremely relaxing and it's funny because um 
they actually every time i hear it it hits me in a different spot if that makes sense you know like so like sometimes i'll be looking on tiktok or something and it'll pop up or instagram or something and it'll pop up and they'll be like um where do you feel this and sometimes i'll feel it like in and around my my stomach and my bottom air like my root chakra and then sometimes i'll feel it here in my chest which i believe is the solar plex you know and then sometimes i'll feel it here which is your throat chakra and sometimes i'll feel it here like i literally feel it in different places and it's because that's the place that um needs to be worked on like it needed that um realignment so to speak and sometimes like i've had it where i literally felt it like boop 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 all the way up like just the full chakra and then i'm like whoa and i was like oh i really need to get one of those i really want one of those singing bowls and she gave me one for my root chakra i am so excited i love this and look at it it's like the color for your root chakra as well I love this. Thank you so much, Gayla. This is amazing. It's like you were in my brain because I was looking at these and something kept telling me, no, we're not gonna buy it right now, we'll wait. And I just, I kept waiting and I'm really glad that I did. Super glad. And it was in and around the same size as that. You know, you kind of start off small until you get more comfortable you know, working it and, and getting used to actually making sound from it, you know? Oh, I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Gayla. Okay, I'm just gonna rest this stuff. Um, let's get our sheet. And let's see what we have here. Okay, so this is our list of contents. And I love her paper. It's so aged and like it's stained, you know, that tea stain. I love it. It's the little touches like this. Okay, so Root Chakra Singing Bowl. <clears throat> This beautiful root chakra singing bowl is for those ready to find their personal power and begin their journey to balancing their chakras. Because the root chakra is the first of the chakras in balancing chakras, as in all things begin with a healthy foundation in healthy foundation, it is important to start by balancing chakras as in all things begin with a healthy foundation sorry guys it is important to start by balancing opening and healing <coughs> your root chakra because it is because it is responsible for increasing self-confidence when the root chakra is blocked one can feel fearful or insecure if you are looking to grow your self-confidence and leave behind insecurities and instability, this is the bowl for you to play. It is made in a red and comes with a singing bowl cushion, high quality case, and a wooden mallet for playing. It is created in a portable slash travel size so you can take the good vibes wherever you go and is made in high quality bronze it is ideal for meditation relaxation yoga and sound therapy and playing this gorgeous singing bowl is an awesome way to begin to balance and heal your root chakra to play it hold the singing bowl on your flat palm be sure your fingertips are not touching the sides of the bowl so you don't stop the vibrations. Hold the mallet pointing downwards 
to start vibrations. Strike the bow once with the mallet, then begin rotating the mallet slowly around the rim of the bowl. Apply gentle pressure so you do not muffle the vibrations. Some people are naturals and others need to play a bit to get the hang of it. So, as with all things in life, practice makes perfect. Then we have the, so that was our lovely root chakra here with the beautiful carrying case. And then next is our root chakra candle, which is this. This root chakra healing candle will bring warmth, light, and focus to your spirit in all healing practices. It is commonly used in meditation, in rituals, and as you practice yoga to enhance the focus on the area that you are working on. Physically and spiritually, meditation, sit on the ground if possible and become aware of your pelvic floor at the base of your spine and focus your energy on healing that area. Because the root chakra is associated with earth, it is very helpful if you can do this meditation outside. You can also chant Bija Matra, I am, while focusing your eyes on the light of the candle. You can burn the candle as you perform the exercises and yoga poses described on your book of shadow pages. It can also be used in any spell or ritual that is intended to align, balance, or heal your root chakra. So the next one is our Oregon Resin Jasper Pyramid for Root Chakra, which was this beautiful one right here. So I'm just gonna take a sip of my booster juice. Alrighty. Red Jasper is a vibrant stone that has strong grounding properties and one of the most popular root chakra stones. Yes, because it is good for um, self-confidence and stuff like that as well. Um, it is associated with strength, courage, grounding, and protection. Very true. These are important healing properties as they directly correlate with the issues commonly caused by a blocked root chakra. Place the red jasper pyramid on your desk or near your bed when you are feeling stressed or out of place. You could also lay it, lay on your back and place it over your root chakra while you meditate. Root Chakra Book of Shadows, which was this right here, guys. Just gonna press that here, and then the candle is on top of that. Um, these are three double sided, vibrantly colorful Book of Shadow pages focusing on the root chakra. Oh my god, they are gorgeous, Gala. Beautiful. The pages will cover information such as basic information regarding the root chakra, um, planetary influences, uh, related gemstones for your root chakra, balances and imbalances, as well as suggested yoga poses, massages and exercises that will help bring your root chakra into balance. And then here we have root chakra incense, which smells amazing. Let's see if I can. Oh, that was how she had it. 
Um, this exotic stick incense is hand rolled by artisans in India's cottage industry and blended in accordance with ancient traditional wisdom in order to open and stimulate the first main energetic centers, the root chakra. Located in our astral bodies, this fragrance is aesthetically pleasing. Oh my God, it really is. While fulfilling the intention to help bring serenity and a sense of being grounded, the scent features pure sandalwood, um, cayus grass, patchouli, and clove. Burn this incense to facilitate the opening of the Moldala, Moldalja chakra, the base energetic center that, when functioning properly, brings the feeling of being grounded and serene. This chakra brings us in touch with the element of earth. And then we have our root chakra tea, which smells amazing. And I'm uber excited to try this tea. For thousands of years, tea has been a staple in many natural and spiritual health practices. Followers of both Buddhism and Hinduism, as well as well, their many variants, have utilized the properties of plants to help heal and energize the metaphysical ep epicenters, the chakras of the human body. Ground yourself with this delicious earthy blend of elderflower, ginger, sage, and dandelion root. Whether you are looking to support a balanced root chakra or simply would like to feel more grounded, this tea is a lovely addition to your day. And then we have the root chakra gemstone roller bottle. I think it might be it looks almost like carnelian in there. I know it's not red jasper. It looks almost like carnelian in there, but. Um, essential oils are good for healing all of the chakras, but they are especially good at healing the root chakra because the root chakra is connected to our sense of smell. There are many ways to use the root chakra gemstone roller. You can apply it to your skin, especially on the lower part of your body, as your skin is associated with the root chakra. Be aware on the lower, be aware though, that this is not a perfume smell. It is earthy and solid, as it is blended to help heal the root chakra. You could apply the oil to the bottoms of your feet before going for a walk barefoot outside. You can put some on the base of your spine before meditation. You could even just infuse some of it as you are meditating. So diffuse some of it as you are meditating, doing yoga, or just relaxing. I love the smell of it, so... So that is what was in our box. And this is so this is just information on um, the root chakra itself. So I'll hold it here and you guys can pause it. This is the second page. Oh 
hopefully I'm going slow enough for you guys. So this was the first edition for her Root Chakra series. So this was box one. Amazing. I love this box. I, I can't even pick a favorite item out of here, to be honest. Um, I love it all. Um, I love the fact that each box, she takes the time to write you a personalized um, thank you uh, card for staying subscribed to her subscription box which I will be I have no intention on going anywhere anytime soon so um, but yeah I will leave um, the information down below um, for her boxes um, if you love this video and you love me um, don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button down below um, I am trying to build my channel um, just to have um, a bigger community and um, this box you can find it on CrateJoy um, that's where I found it but she also has a website too I got mine through CrateJoy um, and I like I said I'll leave all the information down below for her box and for my Canadian witches that are watching um, she does deliver to Canada it's a $10 um, shipping fee which is cheap because here in Canada I mean sometimes we're paying more than that so um, yeah I have nothing but good to say about this box I love it so much um, and uh, yeah like I said hit the like and subscribe button down below and I'll leave all the information down below for this beautiful beautiful magical witchy box and until next time Hopefully my witch casket comes soon and I will see you guys soon, hopefully, with the other boxes that I have left waiting for April. Alrighty. Thank you so much, guys. Have a beautiful, magical night and I will see you all soon. Love you all. Love, light and magic. Mwah.